Hi guys, it's Marieta. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to talk about diversity visa lottery that is coming up very soon in a couple of days. And this is going to be Q&A questions that you posted below my previous video that I did on this topic. So let's do it. Question number one. Hi, I like to ask about the educational requirement. I read high school nine years and did not complete. I work as a sales representative at the bank for six years and pass a test from the central bank with a certificate. My question is, can I register in the green car lottery? Thanks. It's coming from Kayat Hassan. Thank you so much for a wonderful question. The requirement, as you probably already know, is that you need to have the high school diploma or equivalent. So if you do not have a high school diploma, you need to submit equivalent. So the question is, what is the equivalent? Now, if you read the instructions properly, you're going to learn all the details. So I really encourage you guys to download the guide that I actually posted below this video, download the link and on the link, when you click on the link, there is a guide with additional links. So go ahead and check out the requirement. This is a very specific question and the requirement, which is high school education, is a must. So if you don't have a high school education, you definitely need to show equivalent. So he is saying that nine years of experience, actually no, he reached nine years of school, but didn't complete and work as a sales representative for six years. So you might need to check the requirement if six years is enough. I'm not 100% sure, so I definitely recommend to download the guide and check out the link in the guide that will talk about the main requirements. Okay, the question number two is from Felisters. I have one question, my dear, which website should I visit to start the process? Great question because there's so many scammers guys. So many scammers who claiming that you can apply for your green card anytime during a year. Actually they even charge you money for that, which is a scam. You can only apply in October. Every year in October you can apply and the green card registration period closed down, I believe first week of November. So this is the only time when you can apply and where you should apply, the link is again in the brochure that you can download below this video that exactly specified where you should go and apply for a green card. Question number three, Javier. Hi, really awesome video. I have a question. Is there a way that we submit the information and picture correctly? Another great question. Yes, when the registration opens, you will be able to submit the picture which is usually white background, 600 times 600 pixels. The format is pretty similar than when you are actually doing your visa pictures, passport type pictures. So when you will be submitting your application, you will also include the picture. And again, there are also instructions when you applying for a green card. Again, this will open up the first week of October, so you cannot really check it right now, but you carefully need to follow the instructions. And if the picture is wrong, you will not be able to actually submit the application correctly. So the system will tell you there's something wrong with the picture. So no shadows, no glasses, no hats. You have to meet all these requirements. <clears throat> Another question is from Isaac. Hey, coming, I'm coming from Kenya. Can I list my spouse on DV lottery if we are engaged to wed in December 2017? Actually, no. You either are already married or not. If, you, if she's just your fiance, you cannot include her and she cannot include you. What you guys can do is either have a wedding before you actually apply and you can include each other or you have to just apply for yourself and she can apply if she is from the eligible country as well. Another question comes from their angel. Country of birth or nationality. What's the requirement to be eligible? I was born in eligible country with ineligible nationality. So I'm confused in case. Wonderful question, question actually, their angel. What's important is number one, country where you were born 
and what is your nationality right now. So if you were born in an eligible country, but you don't have the citizenship anymore, you cannot apply. If you were born in an eligible country and you are, let's say, a dual citizen, so you have a double citizenship from two different countries, you can still apply. So it really depends. Um, if you still hold the citizenship of the country that is eligible, even though you don't live there anymore, you can certainly apply. All right, the another question is from Margaret and she asks, hi, I'm eligible and I want to apply in October 2017. Is this the DV that would be DV 2019? Yes, correct. It's called DV 2019 because the year 2019 you will be able to move to United States. If you want, then you in 2000, May 2018 you will find out that you want the green card and usually the processing time is about like 6 to 12 months so by the time you move to United States you immigrate it's 2019 so usually it's always this two year period so first is that when you're applying in 2017 it's DV 2019 when you're applying in 2016 it's DV 2018 so keep that in mind it doesn't mean that DV 2018 doesn't mean that you you apply in 2019 so I hope it's clear all right Mr. Bata is asking what about Nepal is it eligible country all right guys there is a list of countries that is eligible again download the brochure guide below this video and you can see the list of countries that are eligible. I believe Nepal is not on the list, sorry. All right guys, so this is it. These are my answers to your questions. If you have more questions, please leave them below this video. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. One more thing, very, very important. If you are filing, if you are applying for your green card, don't forget to save the confirmation number. This is the number you will get at the end once you submit the application. Now, if you don't save the number, there is no way you can actually ever check if you were selected. So make sure to keep the number. You can, for example, email the number to your spouse, your friend um, through email. Just somehow keep the number and never lose it because there is no way for you to actually double check whether you want or not. So good luck everyone and thank you so much for watching. If you have more questions, shoot me the questions, leave them below the video. Bye, see you in the next video.